Hi guys, yeah, another video, like you see some figures that are finished off. I think I mentioned in another video that these were finished a couple of weeks ago. And then uh, I was just sitting waiting for the, the basin to get done. And uh, so yeah, normally the figures don't appear for a while after they're finished, actually painted uh, until the basin get done. Just because I'm probably waiting to, at the same time I may be texting some bases and adding tufts at the same time. So I'll just wait till I've got some a batch of figures at different stages of basin uh, and then I'll, I'll whip out the PV glue and the yeah the texture and sand and tufts and grass and what have you just and do them all at once uh, yeah so yeah what we've got in front of you here is some of the Perry miniatures uh, American Civil War figures from the original plastic box set which I've painted these figures up before in fact, when, when they first came out, I, and I've got a unit of Union infantry made out of these poses, uh, which has appeared, as I say, <laughs> quite a few years ago in the video, uh, and also in the the Union Army showcase, which was done a, a, a two or three years ago as well. So, yeah, but so this time I've painted them up as the Confederates, and yeah, I think they've turned out really nice. As I mentioned, I do a quite a quick paint job on these guys. It was it's mostly base colours and a wash, and that's it. Sometimes a little dry brush here and there. Uh, the only thing that I do in the three, the three figure, uh, sorry, <laughs> the three stage painting is the flesh. Uh, yeah, in fact, this guy here, uh, this chap here, neon firing, he's actually. He's the sort of the odd one out. He's actually out of the newer Union Infantry skirmishing set. Yeah, I only had five of the skirmishing figures off the old sprue. Yeah, the original ACW sprue. So yeah, I was doing another figure. So I thought I would utilise this guy. Put a sort of slouchy hat, a round hat on him. And yeah, I think he blends in quite well. Although he's probably got a longer coat than, well, not everybody, not that chuck's got a longer coat as well. But yeah, eh, I still think the original, like this chap, you know, and the rest of the figures, I still think they're very nice figures. You know, they're, I'm going to say, plain and simple looking, but not in a bad way, eh, in a good way, because they're easy to paint as well. But yeah, they are really nice figures. So they're standing up well. And again, you see on the, the bases here, rocks and tufts. Like in this size of base for skirmishers, you can fill up the base with little nice scenics. So that's that one there, guys. Uh, excuse the <laughs> excuse the maybe grubby looking hands. Yeah, it's been tidied up, getting a new kitchen installed at the moment. So I've been kind of busy tidying that up, that's why it's not been a, a, a this is why the video is taking a while to get out. I, I did plan on doing it probably about a few days ago, but yeah, I've just been so busy with real life things. Uh, and again, here's another two of the figures and yeah, I think they're really nice. I'm really pleased with these, the way they've turned out. Yeah, never, no rock on this base, just the tufts and that. Didn't want them all to have rocks. I mean, this chap turned out, oh, <laughs> this chap turned out really well. When I was gluing them together, I thought he was the sort of, yeah, the not so good pose figure. But when he's painted up, maybe, maybe it was the colour choices that's, that I'm pleased with on that figure. Yeah, a bluey grey jacket and a grey trousers, it seems to have turned out really well, pleased with that one. And then the last two guys, both in the round slouchy hats, uh, again a couple of rocks on the on the base, guy firing. Yeah, and the guy sort of getting ready to load. Yeah. Nice, pleased with them, really am. Uh, and I'm also pleased with how 
quickly I'm getting that figure's painted. So, uh, and another thing, I've lightened up my greys in the Confederates a bit, as you may have noticed if you've watched some of the older videos. Uh, and I'm liking the, the light and the bluey greys, it's, it's quite nice. So, yeah, the next time I paint a Confederate unit, I will be using some lighter greys. Uh, and it works well with the wash as well. Excuse me, guys. Right, I'll leave that there, chaps. I'm swinging around. I'll show you the workbench. Uh, there is other things on the other table again at the basin stage, which they'll appear in the next videos. Uh, let's use a wobble cam. So over here, these guys appear in the last video, and I was I've been to be fair. Most of my painting time, I have been working on these, and they're just about finished. Actually, I've just a few bits and pieces to do. Uh, finish off in muskets, I've got, what else have we got, I pick up one of the chaps here, there's one of the vaulty gears, is that going to focus on me, we have to, yeah, yeah, so on these chaps, I've still got the, the green and the yellow, the highlight, as I say, the whole unit, the muskets, I need a highlight on the muskets as well, but I'm really pleased with how these are coming out, eh, uh, I think they're absolutely lovely figures, they really are. I mean, this chap's got a wee, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's got a goatee. Lovely figure. Uh, and yeah, once I get these finished, I'll do a showcase and I'll go through some of the methods that I've used. Uh, you may be possibly see that the trousers look a different colour to the, the, f the sort of bib area of the, the tunic. Yeah, but I'll go through that when I, when I do the, the video. So that's one of the chops there. Yeah, what else have we got? Here's one of the Eagle Guard guys as well. As you see, I've still got little bits of uh, silver plate on, on the helmet in the front there to do and stuff. But yeah, he's really coming on. Really pleased. So yeah, they'll appear in the next video. And another thing I've done is I've primed, cleaned and primed some more French artillery. Had these figures for a while. These are the, again, Perez Metal Guard foot artillery. So I'm really looking forward to painting these. I've got the, the cannons over the other de desk there. They've been primed as well. Uh, so yeah, they shall be getting some base colours on them very soon. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's the workbench, guys, and back here, this is the finished, oh, figures, again, some more Perry miniatures, plastic ACW skirmishing figures, this time some Confederates, uh, yeah, there are some Union ones again, that are at the basin stage, so they will appear in the video quite soon as well, once I get them finished, so, right, guys, I'll leave it there, I'm watching all the videos, click the like button, comment in when I can, uh, as I say, I'm mostly watching your videos when I'm painting myself, enjoying it all, so keep up the good work, really good fun, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching this one, catch you in another one soon, cheers now, bye bye.